Hello, Paul Evans, Finlay Evans Waterproofing. Got another case scenario here for you to uh, have a look at. Bit of an explanation on this roof waterproofing at the Epworth Hospital. Uh, we were called in there to have a look at multiple leaks throughout the buildings and there's many, many roofs with many different levels um, in this obviously aged uh, building. There's lots of uh, infrastructure that we had to get around. Uh, we, we term as a busy roof, lots of bits and pieces around. The existing uh, torch on material had failed miserably and uh, this is photo showing a section of it cut out where it actually hadn't been uh, installed correctly right in the first place. So we uh, proceeded to strip it all back um, in areas that was accessible and then once stripped back we prepared everything by hand detailing. Uh, this particular job had lots of uh, ballast on it, which is a stone that uh, traditionally helps hold the membrane down, and uh, this had to be removed so we could get back to it and, and re-waterproof it. So that was all individually bagged up and then craned down, um, so that got rid of everything. And then once the deviations in the floor were grouted up with a flow, flowing grout, we levelled up the floor surface and made a reasonable surface for waterproofing. The detailing was extensive and that was probably the major part of the job. Once all the detailing was done by hand, <coughs> we then went about uh, waterproofing generally. Again, with our system being a minimum of four coats and generally six coats, uh, which includes an interlayer of a fibreglass interwoven mat, that gives the uh, membrane a lot more strength, uh, yet still allows it to be flexible, which is part of the qualities of liquid rubber. With the uh, base coats all installed and the fiberglass interlayer installed, we proceeded to go ahead and put a top coat on it, which is actually, in this case, a thermal top coat. The thermal property is not necessarily um, doing much because of the thickness of the slab or the roof slab. However, it gives it a robust and uh, makes it easier to keep, keep the job clean with falling uh, dirt and dust. So once this was done, we went through and uh, did each individual roof methodically, uh, individually, and got everything uh, sorted out. Um, the uh, engineers were extremely happy with our works um, and have uh, recommended us for future works as well. Thanks for listening. If you want to talk to us about this, give us a call on Melbourne 88 or you can always jump on the uh, website at www.waterproofingfew.com.au. Thanks for listening and bye for now.